Greetings from North Carolina. This is Homestead in a Rental. We've had a few requests to show how we cook with our alternative flour. Well, Tim's at work today, so I'm going to try to do this one-handed. And I am actually the messiest cook ever, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm going to use the bread machine that Auntie Cindy sent us. Thank you, Auntie Cindy! Because I don't want to heat up my whole entire house because it's going to be really hot today. So, um, this is a sandwich bread. Sandwich. Um, it makes a pretty thick bread. We found it just is really good for toast. It's really good for, actually, it makes really good, um, what's that stuff called? Uh, French toast. Um, <clears throat> because I can't have yeast, I've learned to cook without it. And uh, this is a recipe, actually, I found in a really old cookbook. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to make a variation here of the honey sandwich bread. This cookbook is really, really fun. It's from the 40s. It's the American Woman's Cookbook. Really cool. I love old cookbooks. Matter of fact, I collect them. So, um, Because I'm using the bread machine, I have to do all my liquids first. So I'm using a third of a cup of molasses. And... Uh, I'm just going to actually drop that in like that because I'm trying to do this one-handed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, all right, that's still going. Here, we'll do that. Meanwhile, I've got my egg over here. So it's one egg. And I'm going to just pour that in there. And I'm supposed to have a cup of milk. Oh, this is not going to work. Pardon me, everybody. There we go. <clears throat> Hopefully all the molasses is out now, and I'm going to just pour this milk in there. going. Boy, you think it'd be faster on a hot day, huh? Alright. Quickly get this over. Ah, well. I'm a messy cook anyway, right? Okay. Now, what I've done is, this is not my own flour. This is the Bob's Red Mills gluten-free. This is a cup. I sifted it with the baking powder. And then this is one cup of the sunflower seed flour that we made and a half a cup of the rice flour. Now what I'm substituting here in this honey sandwich bread is they want you to put a cup of gram flour and then a half a cup of bran. So I kind of figured that would be the same. And then you just pop it in the bread machine and it will cook. And that will make uh, a small loaf of alternative bread flour. Uh, if it was not going to be such a hot day, I would do this in the oven. I would do it in a cast iron skillet, make it sort of on the idea of bannock bread. Um, but it's going to be really hot and I don't feel like dealing with it, <laughs> to be honest. So this is Homestead at a Rental. This is how one way that we use our alternative flowers to make a bread. And I hope you enjoyed it. Greetings from North Carolina. Over and out.